Hi, Jeremy Oliver here with Cell Space TV from the Botanical in South Yarra. And what I'm going to be talking about now are two white, white wines that are slightly off piste Little variations on themes that people don't really drink much of these days. And the first one I've got a real piece of affection for. It's a Sandalford, what's now called the Estate Reserve Modelo. And this was my very, very first radio interview back, my God, 1984. I was talking about the 1983 version of that wine. So a few years later, this wine has actually got a lot better. And Vidello was brought to um, primarily uh, Western Australia and New South Wales to make fortified wines from over 100 years ago. Um, it has now found a much better niche making refreshing, crisp, clean and quite complex wines. So Vidello, the way that Sandalford make it, which is with a little bit of barrel fermentation, a little bit of yeast contact, lees contact, is really vibrant. It's slightly herbal, and you get this lovely, fresh, uh, gooseberry, occasionally slight passion fruity, uh, fruit expression, and because they've kept some dead yeast in contact with the wine after fermentation, it's got some creaminess, some nuttiness, and it's got a really nice shape and freshness. I'm loving that wine. It is just so appealing. It's um, it's in a class of its own and it's very distinctive and it's not expensive. Now, something also rather off the beaten track is Riesling from Mudgee in New South Wales, which is not known as a classic Riesling area, but Robert Stein is a genius of a maker of Riesling and he, one of the wines he makes is called Half Dry Riesling. It's also from 2019, like the Vidello. And I love this guy's work, I really do. Um, Beautiful, intense florals, um, hair, apple, a hint of spice, so vibrant. A little bit of lavender like floral. And with a surname, with a surname like Stein, you might expect it has Germanic origins, and you'd be right. And the Germans are the ones who know most about combining flavour, texture, and sugar and acidity. And this guy drills it time and again with his half dry wine. And it's for people, I guess, who might be wanting something to drink in the mid afternoon, which sounds a bit indulgent, but if it's a Sunday afternoon and you're producing, say, a, a, a tray of, of dried fruits and cheese, this is your wine. It is absolutely beautiful. Don't be afraid to chill it because Riesling is so aromatic, it can take a little bit more chilling than, say, a Chardonnay or even a Vidello. Hope you enjoy them both and go looking for it.